The truth of the matter is those same people that are spreading the negativity are probably too insecure to post their own stuff. And they're trying to bring you down to their level so that they feel accomplished in the sense that they're not posting what they want to post. Right. And I, and I, gosh, I hope that resonates with somebody because this idea of posting content and doing it on a daily basis is so powerful. We all have something within us that we can share and you never know who's going to see it. You never know what kind of lasting impact you're going to have on someone. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another episode of The Morning Takeaway. And today's episode podcast topic is going to be on the idea of haters. And before we jump right into it, I want to start this thing off by saying haters are normal. And this is no shot at anybody in particular. There's no hard feelings. I genuinely have no hard feelings um, in my life towards anyone. Rather, the point of this podcast is to hopefully open up a perspective for not only the people that generate that negativity, but the people that may be feeling like they've been attacked or someone that gets that that takes the brunt of that negativity from someone that we call a quote unquote hater. I think if you lo looked up the definition of quote unquote hater in the urban dictionary, it would probably say or the regular dictionary that it is one who hates or in my opinion, someone that is trying to purposefully impose negativity on someone else's life to essentially bring them down to their level. And again, this is, when I say that, I, f I feel it inside me that I need to say that I think they're, that just because someone is spreading that negativity doesn't necessarily mean they're a bad person, but rather they might be hurting inside. And I am going to dive into that here in a second. So before we get going, if you don't mind hitting the red button, hit and subscribe. If you watch these videos, I hope there's some kind of value I am able to provide to you. If I generate some kind of new perspective for you, hit on an idea that you really resonate with, or you think somebody else might need to hear this, please share this with somebody. I, as you know, I say, if somebody was able to get on a camera and a microphone and change my life, I hope that I can have the slightest impact on somebody through my own camera and microphone. So with that said, also don't forget to hit the bell icon and leave your comments. I, I love to interact with you guys in the comments, especially on these Thursday vlogs, not a vlog, podcasts, because the topic tends to get a little deeper. So with that said, let's talk about haters. And this really started, I wanted to do this podcast because of an instance that I had with my own platforms. And as you can imagine, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of people across platforms that not only follow me, but millions of people that my content is seen by or in the world of content creation, the quote unquote impre impression, it, it leaves impressions on people. And first of all, I'm very fortunate and I've expressed my gratitude about that. But Secondly, with that comes lots of opportunity for negativity and other people to express their opinions and to potentially spread that negativity or positivity. And as you know, if you follow me and followed me for a long time, I've got some of you that have been following me since I was at 6,000 followers on Instagram. And I still keep in touch with you guys because you know I comment back. Um, but the with that, you know that I, my main goal in life is to try to help one person in some way, shape, or form. I try to express my perspective and my takeaways and what I do on a daily basis to spread positivity because I believe so firmly 
in mental health and the idea of mental clarity and loving yourself for who you are and being able to take every day and be excited about it to be in your own skin. And with that comes days that you're gonna have bad days. I put an Instagram story up this morning saying that my normal routine is kinda jacked up right now and that's gonna happen. Nobody's perfect, right? And so, so I say all this to say that I, my, my goal is to spread positivity, right? And it started with this one pestering person, I, no clue. And I think I can take this po podcast from a perspective as well, as if you are somebody that is scared to post, to not give a crap what people think about what you post. Post whatever you feel passionate about, right? And there's always gonna be people that disagree or don't like what you post, but the truth of the matter is those same people that are spreading the negativity are probably too insecure to post their own stuff and they're trying to bring you down to their level so that they feel accomplished in the sense that they're not posting what they wanna post, right? And I, and I, gosh, I hope that resonates with somebody because this idea of posting content and doing it on a daily basis is so powerful. We all have something within us that we can share and you never know who's gonna see it. You never know what kind of lasting impact you're gonna have on someone. And I'm, I'm going down a rabbit hole, as you can tell, I'm getting a little fired up, but, and that's not out of anger, it's not out of frustration, it's out of passion, because the, one, I want haters, quote, I, I, I don't like using that word, but one, I want those people to be able to come to a grips with their perspective on other people's content. And two, I want other people to realize, like, you have something within you to be able to share that someone out there is going to take to heart. And I'll go back to the story because I'm going down a rabbit hole, but there was this one person that, and, and I won't single a name, it was like three letters put together behind, like in, they follow 47 people and have zero followers and not that that matters, but they were purposefully going to my content every single day on every video and posting something. And he, what he or she kept saying was, when are you gonna tell everybody that your life is not perfect? When are you gonna, you, know, you, you put all this fake stuff out for people to uh, think that your life is perfect and all just like constant negativity, right? And here's a person that was taking time out of their day to look up my profile, because they don't follow me, and go through my content to interact. And it got to the point where I interjected, and I was like, hey, like, you know, I appreciate your feedback, is what I said, and I appreciate, I appreciate your feedback, but if you followed me, you would know that my life is not perfect. I post routines and workouts and things that I think are valuable, and just like me being my genuine self and dancing and being goofy, because that is who I am and I'm not afraid to post it. Now, I was afraid at one point that when I, before I ever started posting, there was definitely an insecurity, but that you come to a point that you just have this certain level of self-acceptance and that's huge. And I, I told this person, I said, if you follow me, you would know that I preach that we have bad days. It's normal to have bad days, especially on my Instagram stories and that kind of stuff. And this person just kept coming back and more and more and more. And, and I think it's, it's also, it should be prominent for me to tell you, and I should have prefaced this before I got going, but with those millions of people that see my content or interact and engage with my content, because that opens up such a large opportunity for a lot of negativity, I am pretty grateful to say I've never really encountered much negativity. Like, and, and I don't know if that's just manifesting the law of attraction and having these just like-minded people that follow me that I'm so grateful for that all kind of share this idea of like, let's enjoy life and like, let's grow together and let's be the best version of ourselves to ultimately live our best lives, right? And, and love ourselves so that we can love others. And I'm, I'm super fortunate that I haven't really had this experience very much. And when I do, I always like to interact, not to show them who's boss, quote unquote, or you know, whatever the thought process might be, 
rather to open up a perspective that that negativity is going to be there, but also like, Hey, I'm here to help you too. If you need help. And I've been in a depressed mindset. I've, I've had family members in that same position and just like the victimization or the oppressiveness and for you to take your time out and put that on someone else is just not fair because there's so much opportunity for you to take that into perspective and say, and and don't get me wrong. It's, there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to express your opinion. This is a free world and you should. And I, and I love when people comment on my stuff and maybe do spread that negativity. Cause as I'm saying, it's an opportunity for me to say, Hey, I hear what you're saying and I appreciate your feedback. But if you need help or if you want to talk to somebody, like I'm here to be your friend as well. And I'm not here to continue this conversation of negativity and feed into your negative comments to, because that's what they're trying to do. Right. And I think we can all relate to that. If somebody is putting out that negativity, they're trying to bring you down to that level. And when you love yourself and love, you know, what you stand for to a certain degree, these these people and these ideas and this negativity, it becomes a lot harder to penetrate us as people of positivity. And again, as you know, I'm, I'm, I don't only preach positivity, but I think that was just a perfect example that, you know, there, people live to see others fail. And we're, I don't think we're ever going to rid of that in the world, but it's just a fact of the matter. And it's up to us as individuals, and I put a post out on Facebook today about this, that you are unique to yourself. And when you can come to grips with being your own unique self and understanding there is only, the world only gets one of you and you have something to offer. And there's something so powerful within that, that if you can, like I, like I was saying earlier, and this might be getting a little repetitive, but it is, there's, there's that uniqueness about your own self as an individual that you can bring to the world and the world needs more of that. And I think, you know, that if we can choose the idea of positive positivity and embracing who we are as people, and I've, I've said this in my captions before when I, when I dance or when I just do the, my facial expressions that just naturally happen. And I don't even recognize it. That that is who I am and whoever you are every single day that you wake up is an opportunity to express yourself, to be yourself and to bring your best self to the world. And you never know who that's going to resonate with. You might open a door for somebody one day at a restaurant and never know, but that the fact that you opened up a door for that one person might have the craziest lasting impact on that person for the rest of their life, right? What if they come from a background that's not so, you know, maybe they feel a bit oppressed or whatever the word might be. And like, wow, that person just took the time out of their day to do a random act of kindness. And I think this is a good segue too, for if you have been a quote unquote hater and believe me, I have, and especially in our younger days, when we go through that phase of like, it's cool to be negative and like rag on everybody. And it's just what a toxic culture that is to grow up in, especially in like middle school and high school and hormones are going crazy, but that's a different conversation for those people that are in there. Like if you're, if you feel negativity inside you, My biggest advice is to explore some kind of random act of kindness, whether that's opening a door for somebody, offering somebody help at a store, sweeping, whatever it could be. You know, there's so many random acts of kindness that you can do for people. Go leave a plate of cookies on somebody's front porch and you never know, have to know their action, but that fulfills you with inside you. So that's kind of my, my spiel. And I think part one of this podcast would be, you know, that the ones out there that are expressing that one, they're probably as bad as it is to say, they probably have nothing better to do. They're behind the keys of a message board. that will never show their face. They are insecure so much as to, and it's sad 
that they want to bring you down to their level because they envy something about you. And then from the other side of it is that if you are somebody that wants to put your best self out there and maybe you want to utilize social media or whatever, just like meeting a new person, it's like just take action and who cares what other people think. It's, it's easier said than done, but I mean, I, I remember when I first started posting on Instagram, I was scared to post on Instagram because the 1200 people that followed me were, was everybody that I knew and I had come in contact with in my life before. They knew I had an eight pack. They don't need to see me post seven workouts a week to show how to get an eight pack because they know that I have an eight pack. They don't want to see my eight pack every day, right? But I had to get over that and say, what am I putting out there that I'm passionate about that could have an impact, right? My, my goal was to have an impact on one person. And if I could have an impact on one person, who else could it have an impact on by word of mouth, by shares, by whatever it is, and to provide some kind of value each and every single day and not care what people thought about the eight pack that was there, right? And for those of you, as I'm saying, that want to potentially get started in this area or just not even like be a content creator, but just post what you want to post on social media to have no fear. And if you want to tag me, I'll be the first one to like that post and comment on it and say, let's go with an exclamation point and a fire emoji, whatever it is. Excuse me. And I, I've done that multiple times. People that tag me in content on Instagram, especially it's, it's to me, it is inspiring because that shows that you are, there's a certain part of you that is okay with being vulnerable and that is powerful within itself. So again, I'm not trying to, I, I could probably go on and on and on and talk about this, but I hope there was something that you could take away. I, if just to recap, this isn't a, it's not a shot at people. It's not a, you know, if there is like, I, it's within all of us, but it takes us recognizing that it is it within us and being able to step over that and change and maybe performing a random act of kindness to find that kindness, compassion, and kindness, compassion, and positivity inside us and let that domino effect into a more easygoing lifestyle with not as much built up inner negativity or hatred towards other things, people, places, or things, right? So that's my, my spiel. If, uh, if I said so, something of resonance to you, please let me know. Don't forget to like the video. Before we get going, I am going to generate a random question as I do every Thursday. What challenge would you like to see your best friend take on? Well, as you guys know, my best friend lives close to me. If I wanted to see him take on a challenge, it would be no alcohol for 75 days. The 75 hard challenge, Andy Frazella, I love it. But I think that would be a, a cool experiment. I don't know, he's probably gonna see this and tell me to go to bed or something, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you took something away. I hope you have an awesome freaking day. Let me know if you resonated or if you have a different perspective than I do. I'm always open to it. Have an awesome freaking day and don't forget to smile.